Hello and welcome to TTV. I'm Andrew James and I am uh, here to uh, tell you what we've been up to for this past April uh, in our new May show. So today uh, our first segment is uh, something that we do every year and which is a uh, great boost to many of the clubs and uh, many of the performers at Moira. It's the Anti-Hate Day Assembly. Um, I could go further into this, but I think I will let the segment talk for itself. Here we go. Um, so. Anti-hate is something that we have been trying to really push forward in the school for a, a long time now. Uh, even before uh, Savannah or I were at the school, anti-hate was a big movement within Moya Secondary. Um, and basically it's just about including everyone and making everyone feel that they are welcome and comfortable within the school walls. Um, so Ms. Cooper came to us asking if we would like to MC this assembly because Ben and I have both been involved with many school groups such as GSA and Student Council and all that. And we both personally think that anti-hate is something that's very important, as we are both people who are part of the LGBTQ community. So uh, as people who have suffered forms of hate, we really want to push to others that it's really not something that is enjoyable, obviously. And it's just something that's both close to our hearts. Uh, definitely the videos had a big impact on myself, uh, the skeleton one. And Ben? Well, I think the very talented uh, Moira students who appeared at the assembly um, really brought forth the message of anti-hate, inclusion, and love through their songs. Um, we had some really great talent appear at the assembly, and um, we chose these specific talents because they were songs that uh, really drove home a message of just be kind to one another and don't let hate bring you down. Um, well, if Saying something to someone who's been hating against, that's a, it's a very touchy subject because you don't know what's, what they're personally going through on a, on a deep level, but um, just something general I would say to them is that I'm here for you. Uh, providing support for someone is the most important thing when someone is in a situation um, where they're not feeling great about themselves or uh, comfortable in uh, an environment such as a school, which you need to be comfortable in. And I'd just really say that there's always someone there to talk to, even if it's not parents or friends, there's always someone there, guidance counselors, there's just, just always someone to talk to. Uh, from what we've heard from teachers, they loved it. Uh, we've had lots of students come up to us and say that it really impacted them in a positive way. I don't think people realize how much work actually goes into planning an assembly, so all this feedback is really important to us because we had schedule changes probably 80 times, and people coming to us at the last minute asking, can we have this, can we have this, can we put this in? And Just us backstage, we were changing the script as we were going, so we've had quite a positive re response, I guess. Uh, and uh, as Mr. Montgomery said over the announcements the other day, uh, he found that this was one of the highlights of the entire year here at Moira, um, specifically because we had a lot of great new Moira talent appear on stage, some old Moira talent, but overall um, the message of love uh, and inclusion that we were giving off at the assembly was one that uh, really hit him home uh, and I think really hit the hearts of uh, everyone in the audience there because we had such a, a wide range of uh, things to really get across our message and um, the way that uh, the assembly flowed was really good uh, for uh, the, the audience and keeping them entertained. Uh, they all had a really enjoyable time. Well, I just, uh, I hope that um, on a personal level, um, through emceeing the assembly, what I initially thought of um, when I wanted to get into it was hopefully I can give a strong message that people will take with them after the assembly finishes and implement it in their lives, go out and do something nice for other people. So all I'd have to say really is carry on our message and be as inclusive and loving as you can. Yeah, and I'd just like to say that hopefully the positivity and the welcoming attitude in Moira continues because um, as someone who's been to multiple high schools, I find that here at Moira we have the most welcoming and family environment, and I just hope it continues. I guess it's just it's a really good cause, so I don't know. I thought that it would be good to contribute a bit. Hmm, I don't really do much. This was the first time I've done something, but um, it was nice to just share a little bit of musical yeah I've never performed in front of anyone before so it was fun and I was glad that I could do it because my little sister was um, hesitant about performing and she has a really awesome voice so I said well if we do it together then 
she would do it and she did and she was really good too well that's the thing when you're performing you don't really hear yourself that much like it's sort of like it's a space outside of time like you're not stopping and considering what's going on you're sort of just trying to get through the through the piece that you're doing so yeah and yeah I was really excited beforehand and I was saying to myself well I have to say that I'm excited not nervous so yeah after it was done I felt good about it always great to see the inclusivity at Moira now the other big thing this April has been the musical theater program Every second year, Moira produces a full-fledged musical, and this year, we've chosen a jukebox musical based off of Twelfth Night, using the music of Elvis Presley. Sounds like a weird combination, I know, but it's called All Shook Up, and here's the segment now. Uh, All Shook Up. Uh, I'm in, I was in charge of creating the banner that's now advertising the play in front of the school. It's today on the building, and right now I'm creating part of a set. It's the just it's the tunnel of love. It says just married on two sides of a heart, and it's going to go on top of the tunnel of love. Uh, we need a bus, a car, a tunnel of love, and then just uh, a bar. We need a bar for that. And there's some backstage setting up that we need to do. I don't know what we're doing for that yet, though. Uh, I was involved in helping create the hearts for the Tunnel of Love. I was hel I helped paint the car that's behind me, the jukebox. I was I designed the setup for that, and the banner. Uh, we used um, a lot of wood, uh, two by fours. We used drywall, paint, the t tape for painting. Uh, a lot of power tools that we use to uh, just watching the cords, making sure you don't cut them by accident because you can get electrocuted. Um, if you're wearing a sweater, you got to make sure these are tucked in, the strings, the drawstrings. Make sure your sleeves are rolled up and just watch your surroundings. They're really time consuming. I get bored pretty easy, so it's hard to stay on task some days, but I find that the biggest challenge. I think we'll be working with power tools. I've worked with some, but my knowledge of power tools and how to use them has, has expanded since being in this course. Uh, May 27th, 28th, 29th, and the 30th. Um, I was building that red car, as you see behind me. All kinds. I mean, we need a guitar, some cars, a bus, uh, a bar, a bunch of silhouettes. Uh, all the silhouettes and the car that you see behind me. <laughs> Plywood and styrofoam. Haven't came across my ch a biggest challenge yet. Probably shaping all the styrofoam to make it look like that 59. Uh, my role is the music director for the show. So as the music director, I'm responsible for teaching the songs to the lead characters and uh, everybody involved in the cast of the show. And I also uh, conduct the pit band for the show. Uh, well, there's lots of different roles in the play. Uh, the All Shook Up musical is based on the songs of Elvis Presley, so the main lead character is an Elvis-type character. Uh, the show's not about Elvis uh, Elvis's life or anything like that. It's kind of similar to the concept of uh, Mamma Mia where it's all ABBA songs but the story is different. Uh, but the lead character is an Elvis type character and uh, but the, the songs have been used and they've been changed up a little bit to to make them more Broadway type songs uh, but uh, if you like Elvis music it's it's a great show and uh, and that and the show is all about that time period the 50s. Uh, the biggest challenge this year for us has been time. Uh, in our past shows that we've done here, uh, we've been able to work for two periods a day on the show, and this, this is our first time where we've only had a one-credit music theater course, so we're trying to do the same amount of work and the same scale of show that we've done in the past. It's like it's a full Broadway show uh, in about half the time. So uh, that's been the biggest challenge, but uh, everybody's been working hard, and, and we're getting through it, and we're going to be ready. Oh, well, there's lots of interesting parts. Uh, one of my favorite parts in the show is in a song called It's Now or Never, uh, where two of the characters, one is, is planning to leave and go back to uh, military school, and uh, the female interest is trying to talk him out of it and they sing a song and in the middle of the song the bus actually comes to pick up the guy and the uh, people on the bus start singing along with the song and it's, it's just a neat moment in the show. It's one of my favorite musical moments in the show. 
The play is going to be presented here at Moira uh, for elementary students on a matinee on Tuesday, May the 26th at noon uh, for the high school students on Wednesday the 27th at noon and then we have evening shows running Wednesday May 27th starting at 7 o'clock uh, Wednesday night Thursday night Friday night and Saturday night all at 7 o'clock uh, I play uh, Chad who is one of the main characters he's a uh, a guitar playing roustabout who uh, happens to show up in the town and then uh, pretty much craziness happens. <laughs> um, probably in the course the biggest challenge for me is probably doing some of the um, uh, of the, like the written work but as far as like the play goes the biggest thing for me is probably learning all of the songs which is and like learning all of my parts and whatnot because it's I have a lot. <laughs> the most interesting part uh, so far at least it's got to be uh, some of the uh, some of the comedy scenes. So like, just like the small like jokes that just kind of link together and just at the speed that it's uh, that it's putting at or that it's that it goes at is pretty uh, it's pretty great and it's very rewarding in the end. Um, we are having mostly like just uh, just kind of awkward comedy kind of deal. At some points it's kind of awkward. At other times it's just. Almost like a uh, visual comedy at some points, but uh, for the most part, it is kind of like awkward, awkward kind of things. Like, for example, one of the other main characters, uh, Dennis, he uh, he screams like a girl when I do like a hip swivel kind of thing. You know, things like that. I play Miss Sandra, and basically Sandra is this museum caretaker that is supposed to be kind of like a sex icon and extremely beautiful, and then two men fall in love with her, but then she falls in love with the lead female because the lead female is dressing up as a guy. So she's hilarious. She's supposed to be sophisticated. She's supposed to be intelligent, museum curator. Um, but yeah, she's, she's a fun character for sure. Yeah, so we have um, Dutch, and he plays uh, Chad, who's the role in Roustabout, and basically what he's doing is that he's the lead, and he's kind of like the Elvis-type character. And then we have a character named Natalie, and she is the mechanic's daughter, and who's like a really butch tomboy, and she totally falls head, in, or head over heels for Chad. And then there's Natalie's best friend, Dennis, who's this really, really dorky, aspiring dentist, and he's totally in love with Natalie, so you have like all these love triangles happening happening and it's kind of a mess but it's hilarious it's a hilarious mess for me it'd probably be dancing because I'm not a dancer like I've done a lot of acting at the school and I've done a lot of singing on my own and also at the school so for me it's like knowing how to dance because I'm super awkward and I've always been pretty awkward so getting up there and having to like do movements that look especially sexy is just difficult <laughs> Most interesting, oh, it would probably be when I um, when I fall head over heels for Natalie, who's dressed up as a guy, and all these statues come to life and try to help me seduce him. And it, it's kind of creepy. It's very racy. It's a very racy scene. Uh, my role is Sylvia. She's um, one of the love interests. She's Lorraine's mom. She runs the bar. Oh, I find my character really challenging just because like, she's really, really different from me. She's very sassy and aggressive. And it's hard, but it's really fun. Oh, the most interesting part? I don't know, I think at the end, when all the love triangles come out. We really have such great talent here at Moira. I'm proud to be a part of the school. We're coming near to the end of the year, and it's just great to see all these things happening still, even up to uh, exams coming up. Uh, I hope everyone has a good May, and I hope to see you again in June. Thank you very much.